Hello and welcome back to my studio. Now you know preparation for your painting is critical and in this video I'm going to show you one of my favorite tools for preparing for a good painting. Stick around because you may not have come across these art materials before and you may be surprised at just how effective they can be. As the old saying goes, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. And if you're going to do a successful painting, especially something a bit bigger, preparation is important. I never skip preparation. I may not show you the preparation that I do each time, but I've always done something beforehand to help me get into the painting effectively and improve the chances of a good result. Now one of the art materials that I like to use is this one. This is made by Derwent and it's called the Graffitant Paint Pan Set. It's kind of an unsung hero. I think it's in the shadow of fancy watercolor sets and pastels and things like that. But this little paint set packs a punch. Yes, there are water soluble paint pans, but what's in the pans is quite different. It is particles of graphite mixed with color pigment. And it creates a sort of muted color effect in earth tones. It cools and warms and neutral tones. That is just perfect for doing a value study for your painting. Now, a lot of beginner artists are using line drawings if they do any preparation at all. Draw an outline of the subject and that's pretty much it. That's better than nothing, but it's not dealing with the most important thing about a painting subject, and that is a three-dimensional volume. When you are painting with a brush, you are creating a volume, or at least the illusion of volume. So preparing beforehand with something like this Derwent set is going to help you work out volume. The transition from darks to middle to light values helps to create that sense of volume. So let's have a closer look at this and I'm going to show you the set in action so you get a better idea. And if you're interested in getting one of these and trying it out, you can find it in South Africa at artsavingsclub.co.za or look for the Amazon link below as well in other parts of the world or at your local store if they are smart enough to stock this. All right, let's have a closer look. All right, so here's the Derwent set. Let's open that up. I have been using this, so it's not going to be in pristine condition. I've been using it quite a lot. And you can see on the side here, the different colors, some warm tones to cool tones as well. All generally very earthy tones. And here's a color chart in here, and it comes with one of these little uh, water reservoir pens. And let's get some water in there. Right, now, as I said, Derwin says these paint pans contain a unique blend of graphite and rich color pigments to create subtle muted earthy colors. And the graphite particles settle into the paper grain to create different effects um, with light and you'll see some of these particles looking like little shiny uh, glass elements in your your painting so it's quite interesting actually but i like the sort of subtle um, earthy tones and the ability to use these for creating little value studies. So I'm just going to wet these up and get them ready for action. But I, I must say I've been quite surprised with how I've enjoyed using them. I think they are pretty much unknown to a lot of people. Normally I think most uh, people associate the standard watercolor pan sets as uh, their number one choice. But the watercolor set is fine for focusing on, on color aspects, but 
when I'm preparing, I've got to start working with the values because as we know, values are the foundation of a good, strong painting. So paper to work on, I've got Fabriano um, multimedia paper and it works just fine. This is 250 gram. Alternatively, you can use a 300 gram cold press paper. The cold press gives you this sort of texture to the paper, which is particularly appealing when you're using this to create little paintings because the little indentations in the paper catch little pools of the pigment and those graphite particles and you get those little shiny effects. So that sounds quite interesting. So let's have a try with that. So my typical preparation study would, as I said, be quite small like this. And, and instead of focusing on doing an outline, I focus on getting some mass shapes down quite quickly. So have your little color chart in your uh, set as well so you can refer to it because these tones are not so easy to distinguish. For example, this um, purple or magenta looking one over here compared to the more aubergine purple over here look very, very similar. So let's get cracking then. I'm going to start with the, the darks, some cool darks. you can bring in some color as well. This is sort of a greenish yellow. It's all about values, your darkest values. See where those are going to be. And you can just go over and build those up. about some atmospheric perspective as well. In, in a sense like watercolor, you can vary your water content. So this sort of muted it just takes your mind away from the overbearing color that a normal watercolor set would provide and uh, remind you that you need to focus on value structure. So yeah, I need more darks in here and I can start just feeling out how I'm going to bring those into the scene. Well, so this would be a quick preparation study. You could do this in a matter of five minutes if you want to. Quite simple. And you can do several of these very quickly. So figure out where I'm going to put a figure. Just a, a quick suggestion. On the margins, you can try a few other things. Maybe you want to practice that figure. Just do a few figure studies on the side. Mm -hmm. 
So I really do like the abstract nature of this. It almost reminds me of uh, rock paintings. That's a figure on the beach, not quite what I'm after here, but a lot of fun just experimenting. Well, I hope this sheds some light on something a little different that you may not have been using before and you can try it out. Sometimes the preparation studies look really great and are very good paintings in themselves. So it's always worth doing. You just never know. You may create a real little masterpiece. Well, remember that I've got a free course for you up here. So click on the link or you can find it below this video as well in the description and if you haven't done so yet now is a good time to subscribe you won't miss the next video if you hit the notification bell as well well that's it for now until next time happy painting and cheers for now mm -hmm.